How's it going? My name is Parker. I'm a motion graphics designer here in Los Angeles. And today I'm gonna to teach you the basics of how to use the interface and some of the buttons in After Effects. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up After Effects and start a new project. Basically, you'll see right off the bat, all your windows are sort of gray, there's nothing in them, and that's because you have nothing in your project yet. So the first thing you wanna do is bring something in. So we're gonna say File, Import, and we're gonna bring a photo in, you know, anything that you've got to, to animate or to learn with. So I've got some photos here that I shot last night at an event. So we're just gonna bring, say, all three. If you hit Shift and click them all, it'll bring all three in at once. Let's say OK. And then you'll notice they instantly pop up here in your project window. So this is basically where all your footage, all your audio, everything's going to end up. So you can also organize it very easily by clicking on this little folder button, create some new folders. We'll say Photos. And then you can again click and shift down and just drag them right in there. Now everything's nice and organized. So that's sort of the first step is bringing your stuff in, keeping it nice and organized. Now, again, the buttons still aren't illuminated. That's because we haven't created a composition. Composition is basically the window with which your movies can be made. So if you make it real big, you're gonna end up with a big movie. If you have a little small composition, small movie. So you can create a new composition by going up to the Composition tab, New Composition, or Apple N. And you say Comp 1's fine, we'll make it HD. Sure, 10 seconds looks good here, and the background will be black, okay. So I can zoom in and out on this composition with my scroller wheel here on my mouse, or you can hit uh, you know, Apple minus or plus, and that'll zoom in and out as well. Now I can go back over here and you'll see the comp one has been created and dropped in with all my other footage. So again, I can create a new folder here and say comps, and I'll just drop that comp right into there. Again, very organized, easy to find everything. So now I'll go into my photos and let's grab the photo of the crowd here. And if I just drag it right over my composition, you'll see there it is. Now, again, there's the, the movie size there, and then you'll see my photo size here is much larger, right? That's actually quite good because my resolution's high enough now that if I animate that photo around, it's not gonna be low resolution and we're not gonna see any of the black like this if we were to go outside of the photo. Okay, so we've got our footage in there and that's basically how to drop your footage into a new composition. Now you can see the buttons are illuminated. Now you can actually start clicking on some tools, you can put some text on top, and we'll just run through the buttons real quick. First one here is your cursor. Uh, you'll notice when I put my cursor over the cursor, uh, it shows me that that's the selection tool and if I click V, the shortcut to get there, it'll give me that tool. Same for the hand tool, if I hit H, you'll notice, boom, I didn't have to click on it, right there. Saves a lot of time, it's a good tip. I use that across the board. Get to know your, sh your keyboard shortcuts, it's very crucial. Next up is the zoom tool, pretty self-explanatory, zooms in and out. This is the rotation tool. You can hit W and rotate the photo around. Let's do that real quick. And it's gonna rotate around its anchor point. We can get into adjusting anchor points later, but that's what's rotating around. Next up is the camera tool. Get into that once you start using cameras to move around in 3D space. Uh, this is the pan behind tool. Again, a little further down the road, uh, it, it adjusts the position and the anchor point on your elements. This is a cool one, rounded rectangle. Okay, so if you wanted to only use a section of your photo, you could just grab the rounded rectangle, drag it over that photo, and now I've masked it out to only use that section. Kind of tool, kind of cool, you know, easy and quick. Uh, next up, another selection tool is the pen tool. Uh, the same thing in, uh, in Photoshop, if you're familiar with that. Basically, you can use Bezier curves to make selections or shapes or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, or you can, you, know, you can also use you know, fine-tuned points like that. Pretty cool. Um, next up is text tool. Again, self-explanatory, Apple T to get to it. You can select a section and start typing. Ha ha. <laughs> next up is the brush tool. You can use this tool to basically paint on your footage. It's pretty cool. Um, you're gonna have to double click your footage to get to it uh, so that you can actually paint on the layer. You don't paint on compositions. Uh, next up is stamp. Again, similar to Photoshop. You can stamp from one element onto another. This is the eraser. And this is a new one, the roto brush tool. This is one, if you're familiar at all with uh, rotoscoping, it's 
really easy in CS5. This is new for CS5, so if you, if you have an older version, you won't have this button, but it's pretty cool if you have the new stuff. And last but not least, the Puppet Pin tool. Again, later, it's an animation tool that we're not gonna get into right now. So, another basic, other than the buttons here, is all the layers and the, and, the, and the windows that you've got set up here. Now, you can adjust what you have out in your desktop by going up to Window, and then you'll see all the ones that I have here that are open have a little check mark. I've got my audio, my character, which is the text and fonts and stuff. These are all checked off because they're actually up right now and I can see them. But if I wanted the Wiggler, for example, which is a tool that wiggles things over time, I could just click on Wiggler and it'll pop up right there. Pretty cool. So that's the basics of some of the buttons and the layout and how to get your footage into a project so that you can actually start playing around with it. Uh, it's pretty basic and you know, feel free to play around, open up some extra windows and uh, you know, start to get to know it. A lot of times I find that I learn best just by doing. So you know, open up some photos, play around with them and, uh, and you'll, you'll start to get to know the tools a little better. All right, well my name's Parker, thanks for watching. Send any requests that you've got to requests at mahalo.com.